<laughs> Hi. 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 So, I'm here with my friend and client. Oh, yes, I do want to tag you in here. I forgot to tag you. Tagged. Oh, you're already tagged. <laughs> Facebook's already done. Head of the game. It's tagged. Awesome. So, this is my friend and client, Jill. Um, and we have just done a session around healing the relationship with her mother and we got to talking afterwards and I was just like, are you open to live streaming? Because Jill is all about vulnerability, which I love. All about <laughs> vulnerability and transparency. Anyone <laughs> on my Facebook knows that. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about, because Jill just came and did my um, Integrated Women's event and um this is where all this mother stuff became a bit more clearer and we were just talking about how do you explain to people what happens at these events like sometimes you can't explain it like how do you explain it so we thought we'd attempt to explain it <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hi everyone hey say hi if you're there um yeah so jill do you want us to tell a little bit about Okay, <laughs> so I uh, met EJ a few years ago and I contacted her about the Integrated Women's Workshop because I'd reached a crisis point um, with my love wounds and my, my trauma that I'd experienced with men. And so I decided to come over from Perth to the Gold Coast for it. And there was definitely some resistance uh, when I finally got here that it, it was going to be scary because this workshop was going to push me and it was gonna force me to be vulnerable about stuff I didn't want to be vulnerable about and to think about stuff I didn't want to think about and to change stuff that I've not really been willing to change and and own stuff that I haven't been willing to own so already from the first day like after the first day which was the Friday it was amazing I got so much out of it um, in terms of my boundaries around my relationships and being under boundaried and then being over boundaried a just a little bar. bit overboundary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I learned about the fuck off wall, which is apparently, uh, yeah, the wall you have up, um, in this case against men, that just says fuck off and stops people approaching me. And realized that I have a fuck off wall and a fuck off moat, and then the fuck off soldiers on horses around as well. So we break through all of them. And um, I already yeah. just got so much, so much and out of that day. About the man, the man. Okay, no? Nah. <laughs> More on that later. Okay. Well, let's just say she opened herself to a man that nothing, we're not going to say anything about that yet. He'd smashed right into the fuck off wall before. Yes. Yeah. And I let him in. But anyway. <laughs> so after the first day, I was like, man, this is amazing. Like, I'm done. This is great. I've got all this stuff out of the workshop. I don't even need it in the other few days. Um, but every day, just something, something kept coming through. And I kept making these breakthroughs and you know experiencing this new resistance but when you have that resistance and that those walls start coming down of like I don't want to do this and this is scary and I'm not willing that's when you want to push through it because that's where the gold is that's where you make the progress and that's where you can make changes and it's stepping outside your comfort zone because in my opinion everything worth getting is outside your comfort zone um, and on the second day a lot of uh, mother things came up for me um, you know, obviously, like most people, I love my mum. Times I could happily kill her, but most of the time, love her. Um, and at the same time as well, we're also very, very different and also very similar, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to as well. So we did this uh, exercise in the group. Um, I paired up with another woman uh, to work kind of through these mother wounds we had. And going through this process, I realized, you know, when, when I go back to Perth, I really need to sit down with my mum and to be really vulnerable and be really open and really honest, which I'm not really that comfortable doing around my mom. Uh, but I was like, I need to do that to work through this, to work through what's going on. And as we went through the retreat some more, I learned uh, about something called aspecting. So do you want to explain what that is before I start talking about how it worked for me? Um, aspecting is a beautiful process where you can really tune into the other person's energy and really drop into their point of view and drop into their space. And it's really, it's probably the one of those powerful things that I do for myself, but also I facilitate for my clients. And the breakthroughs that come through and the insights are just massive. And you can do this with people that you don't have contact with. It's a really great way to clear things 
with people that you maybe can't have a conversation with or you know that if you had that conversation with them it would push them away um, but you can do this on a on a different energetic level where things will shift um, without you even having to have the conversation mm. you can also you can do it with uh, things other than people though you can do it with things like money and um, health and you can do it with um, beliefs so there's lots of different ways that you can do it but it's really 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 powerful um, yeah so <laughs> so, so when I learn about aspecting at the retreat I realized you know this is something I really I really want to try aspecting with my mum um, so I contact you know sent EJ a message like let's look into this and there was so much that I needed to clear with my mum but things that I felt would would be far too painful and far too hurtful to to verbalize to her and also i don't know whether she would show up and show her vulnerability to give me what i needed as well so i decided yeah aspecting is definitely something that i want to do and then as the days went on i was like i don't want to do this anymore because i have to be vulnerable and i'm probably going to cry and i'm going to be awkward and i'm really not a fan of any of that um so I really had to push myself. I almost convinced myself, like, no, I don't, I don't need it. It's fine. I came anyway. I needed it. And <laughs> I, had, I had a lot of hesitation around this. And I said that to EJ as well. Like, I, I really am not comfortable with it. I don't know if I can be as vulnerable as I need to be to, to do it effectively. Um, up until the point of, like, sitting there about to, you know, start the aspecting process, I was like, I don't want to do this. Um... But I was really surprised at how easy it was to fall into the practice. And it is really hard to explain um, aspecting as what it is because I, I had a demonstration when I learned about what it was. And I really was able to tap into my mother's energy and have this dialogue with her energy and her energy have a dialogue with me. And I said all those things that I needed to say and I expressed all those things I needed to express. And I also heard from my mother what she needed to express and what she needed validating over as well. And we went back and forth about six, seven times maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and yeah, I cried the whole way through. <laughs> Not a fan, but it happened. Um, and it was just completely amazing. And I have come out realizing that conversation that I, th I thought I needed to have with my mum when I went home that was going to be really uncomfortable and hard, I actually don't need to have that anymore because I honestly have completely cleared all of those things that I was holding on to in that aspecting session. And if anyone explained it to me and told me this, I would think they were nuts, but it really was <laughs> phenomenal. And now I'm just like, I want to aspect everything. Like, I'm going to fix everything. But it has yeah. been absolutely amazing and learning so much from the retreat and having my eyes open so much from the retreat and realizing how much stuff is out there to help you be where you want to be and to become the person you want to become and to have the relationships you want to have mm, yeah yeah awesome thank you <laughs> Yeah, aspecting is one of my favorite processes and I really loved being able to facilitate that for you. And yeah, sometimes it's helpful, you know, to have someone there to support and know the right questions to ask. So as Jill was going through back and forth, I'd be pulling out different questions as a coach. I can intuitively feel guided to what needs to come out, what needs to be processed, what questions need to be asked. And what we, what we discovered was that there was a way that Jill needed to start showing up differently with her mum and from that space her mum will now show up differently like obviously like her mum doesn't know this happened but that's what I love about aspecting is that things will just shift um, it's just so powerful that things will shift without you even having to necessarily have that conversation with the actual person but you now know how to show up because mm -hmm. Her, when she turned into her mum's energy, she was able to be like, okay, this is what's going on for my mum. This is what she needs from me, so that I can, so that I, you know, and I need to show up differently, so that she shows up differently. So on that note, there, what I, what I want to add there is that this is the thing is, is if we keep wanting someone to show up for us in a in a certain way, and we keep being like 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 pushing them or like wanting them to show up in a certain way or meet certain expectations and they don't, then then we have to go into, well, how do I need to show up differently? And 
I can tell you when you show up differently, that other person will show up differently. So that's something for those of you watching is to think about if there's something that I've got something going on with a certain person, and like looking at, well, how can I show up? How can I show up differently? Obviously, like I can, I can teach you guys aspecting, um, but yeah, you'd have to come. You can have to come and do it at an event or one on one. <laughs> but um, but I don't have any events for that booked in yet. But there will be. Jill was just like, EJ, when are you putting on another event? <laughs> Fan girl. <laughs> for me, with the with the thing with my mum, it was you know I was showing up as X. My mum was my mum needed me to show up as Y, and. It was what I was trying to do was not working for her. Um, but, you know, she couldn't express that to me. So what I got from the aspecting, you know, um, the aspecting session was that I've been trying and trying to do the, this way and we both are not frustrated. It's not working when actually I need to do it that way. And that's what the, the session brought to me. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. So excited. What I just loved hearing was that... <sighs> Like how so much can be cleared in in that space. Like I just feel like, yeah. Absolutely. Like when I first channeled, uh, sat in my mom's energy, I physically felt something settle on me, this heaviness, this burden, and a physical sense of it. And as we went through the process more, it lifted. It lifted. And I felt lighter and I felt more open in my mother's energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. And mother, mother stuff is massive, like huge, massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, like it generally affects your relationships with women, whether you're a man or a woman. Like it will be reflected, in, in what I tend to find is how the women in in your life show up. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a big, usually a big reflection there somehow. Um, mm, yeah, and I know for my mum, I've done aspecting with her, and it's been really powerful to also give her back some of the beliefs and things that I'd taken on that weren't mine and give them back to her and and yeah that was really really cool to do as well I'm gonna sneeze I think <laughs> no I'm not you know you get that moment when you think you're about to sneeze and then yeah if you go yeah. <laughs> it'll yeah. usually bring the sneeze yeah. on yeah um was there anything else you wanted to share on that I think that's about it really yeah, cool. aspecting summed up in 10 minutes or under <laughs> do yeah it. yeah so if you've got mother or father wounds, this is something I work through deeply with my clients. Um, we do a lot of inner child work and aspecting and all sorts of stuff. So it's all like so much is connected to our parents. So it's a really big piece um, that I really am passionate about working through with people. So please feel free to reach out if this is something that you want to work through. If you've got stuff you really not know that you need to clear, that you know is, has been blocking you from... Um, the other relationship in your life or just having the, that relationship that you want with your with your parents um, mm, yeah so I'm about to go and let Jill try and get this piece of glass out of my foot we got the ointment I can't wait. And we, we got the ointment guys we got the ointment and we have a stabby tool which is the yes, one I'm, I'm most bit, excited I'm about bit, she was really excited to stab my foot and get this glass out which actually scares the shit out of me anyone who's been pierced by me knows it <laughs> yeah I mean look right like no issue with needles there oh okay so battery's dying so we better go um yeah I don't think yeah and I just believe in it. Give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go get let's go stab my foot. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> <laughs>